Touchdown, interception. NFL, also known as the National Football League, is one of America's greatest sports and pastimes. So it's a bit shocking that there's been some recent speculation. I believe due to the talks about drama, the kneeling protests and injuries, that the media views the NFL as more of a negative than a positive. But I believe due to the fact that players have both global issues or strong pillars in the community and stay connected with each other, that the NFL has a lot of positives. As you can see in this picture, I've been a huge NFL fan, mostly Eagles fan for most of my life. Not only have I loved watching a game at a young age, but I watch a lot of NFL documentaries and I follow the NFL on Instagram where they talk about what players have done in the community. The first thing I'll talk about is how NFL have helped out with global issues, mostly the players. I feel like a lot of people believe that NFL players earn too much money, they just buy cars, but in fact, that's not true. They help out global issues. Back in 2017, when Hurricane Harvey um, hit Houston, Houston Texans defensive end J.J. Watt went right into action and helped out his city. Um, as you can see in this video, he did an interview with Michael Stranahan. Watt explains how he used his platform. Have this incredible platform, have all this social media, all these followers. Um, let's see if I can raise a little bit of money to help these people out and try and... So as you can see, Watt used his platform for good and all that fame he had, he helped people with it. Not only did Watt exceed his goal, he gave the city some hope. An interview on NFL.com he did a year later said, you know what, the thoughts of the hurricane still haunt him, but he believes that everyone has good in him and it's important to use your good to help others. But let's talk about more recently with the COVID-19 outbreaks. Matt Ryan, quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons, as well as many other players, have donated money. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Ryan said that he's basically using his money to help people who've worked in the food industry whose jobs have been hit. Last week was the NFL Draft, and they had a side live stream called NFL Draftathon, where they had many special guests and players. This was open to the public, so you as well could donate money and help raise funds, and the NFL raised a ton of money. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month nationwide, and the NFL has certainly done their part. As you can see here, there's some Dallas Cowboys players wearing some pink gear, whether it be cleats or armbands. But the NFL also has a program called Crucial Catch where they donate money. And as you can see here in this uh, picture, these are some of the things that they have done. So that's how the NFL has helped out with big scale. How about smaller scale? And you know, a lot of the people think that there's the vibe of the drama, but in fact, NFL players are really strong in their community. Every year, there's an award called the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, named after former Chicago Bears running back Walter Payton. Some of the previous award winners were Giants quarterback Eli Manning, Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. As you can see, there's a picture of Fitzgerald helping out in one of the pro football camps a couple years back. And this year was Jacksonville Jaguars defensive end Clayus Campbell. On, NF on the Jaguars official website, Commissioner Roger Goodell said, the 12 years that Calais Campbell has been in the league, he has done amazing work and he definitely deserved the award. But you don't have to win the award to do great things. Another Cardinals player, Patrick Peterson, on an, in an article on SB Nation, he has a program where he provides uh, the youths, um, some of the young kids in cities whose income isn't the best, he's helped them get on the right track. Not only have NFL players helped kids with in terms of financially and being there, they've also coached them. As you can see in this picture, former Minnesota Vikings defensive end Sheree Floyd and many others have coached high school teams. In an interview with the Philadelphia Inquirer, one of the players said just their wisdom and knowledge has really helped him exceed his goal. So how that's how NFL players have helped, but how about they stay connected? Friendship's a big part of life, and the NFL has certainly done their part. A lot of players stay in contact after they retire and forming those friendships. Many have gone into jobs. You look um, here in this picture, we see several former players, such as Kurt Warner and Michael Irvin. They're on the NFL talk shows, and they just keep involved with the game, coaching as well. Many players have gone on to coach. 
There's also a program that I don't think a lot of people know about called the NFL Legends Community. This is a place where they help players after they retire stay connected, and it's a very cool outlet that I, I believe more people should know about. So in conclusion, Due to the NFL and its players, they have helped make our Earth and society a better place to live in. You know, whenever something bad happens, the NFL or other leagues have places where you can donate money or even a simple um, hi can make someone's day. Win or lose on the field, due to the NFL, its players, and their actions, someone is always celebrating a win off of the field. Thank you.